Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we thank our Lord joyfully for bringing us in the sacrament of the Eucharist where the believing community is gathered. And today we thank the Lord for the 40 years of being declared as a minor basilica of the Manila Cathedral in April 27, 1981, Pope John Paul II declared the Manila Cathedral as a minor basilica. And so, as we thank the Lord for this gift, in this Eucharist, we thank the Lord for being a community that believes in Jesus. To prepare ourselves for this celebration, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, You have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd, leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray.
Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that celebrating the mysteries of the Lord's resurrection, we may merit to receive the joy of our redemption. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Those who have been scattered by the persecution that arose because of Stephen went as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, preaching the word to no one but Jews. There were some Cypriots and Cyrenians, among them, however, who came to Antioch and began to speak to the Greeks as well, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great deal of number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all, to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart, for he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and faith. And a large number of people was added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a large number of people. And it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All you nations, praise the Lord. All you nations, praise the Lord. His foundation upon the holy mountains, the Lord loves. The gates of Zion, more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. All you nations, praise the Lord. I tell of Egypt and Babylon among those who know the Lord, or Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia. This man was born here, and of Zion they shall say, One and all were born in her, and he who has established her is the Most High Lord. All you nations, praise the Lord. They shall note when the peoples are enrolled, this man was born here, and all shall sing in their festive dance, My home is within you. All you nations, praise the Lord. My voice says the Lord, I know them and they will follow me. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The feast of the dedication was taking place in Jerusalem. It was winter. And Jesus walked about in the temple area on the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, 
How long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify to me, but you do not believe because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all, and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> We continue today our reflections on Jesus being the Good Shepherd. This day, Jesus brings about the importance of the flock, the sheep, but not only one sheep, but Jesus is emphasizing the presence of the flock, the whole community of his sheep. Para sa mabuting pastol, hindi lamang mahalaga yung iisang tupa, kundi mahalaga ang buong kawan, ang pamayanan ng kanyang mga tupa. And in our gospel passage today, Jesus is talking to the Jews who were questioning him at that time. But he was also pointing to the community of his sheep who believes in him. He is trying to put difference between the two communities. Those who do not believe in Jesus, and he said, I have talked to you, I have preached to you, I have made miracles for you, but you do not believe. And he said, this is not my sheep. My sheep believes in me, my sheep hear my voice. And that is the two communities that Jesus is trying to differentiate. And when he points out his flock, the sheep of the Good Shepherd, he tells us that this community is a believing community. Are you part of the believing community. These two communities are different. The other community always casts doubt against Jesus. Whatever Jesus do, whatever Jesus say, they do not believe. They doubt Jesus. This is the non-believing community. But Jesus tells us, no, there is one community, the sheep, the flock of the Good Shepherd, who loves the Good Shepherd, who listens to the Good Shepherd, who recognizes the voice of the Good Shepherd. That is the believing community of Jesus. Are you part? of the believing community. Whenever we gather in the Eucharist, we gather as a believing community. And in our first reading today from the Acts of the Apostles, 
we hear this reality, the early church in the time of the apostles, when they were able to preach in different places, and they were surprised, like the apostles Barnabas and Paul, when they went to Antioch, they found a believing community there. It was far away from Jerusalem, but they were surprised that even the Word of God reached as far as Antioch. And when they went there, they praised God because a large number was added to the church. And there in Antioch, they were recognized. They were first called as Christians. They were believers of Christ. That is why the early community of the church has been recognized as a believing community. They help one another to believe in Jesus. If one is sick, if one is hungry, they help one another so that those who are in need can believe in the charity, in the love of Jesus for them. Mga minamahal na kapatid, ang pamayanan natin na sinasabi ng mabuting pastol na aking kawan, ang aking mga tupa, ito ay ang pamayanan na naniniwala kay Jesus, a believing community. Kaya magtulungan po tayo bilang isang pamayanan na tayo ay patuloy maniwala kay Jesus. Patuloy ang ating pananalig sa Diyos. Yan ang tunay na kawan ni Jesus. Kapag ang isang kawan, ang mga tupa, ay hindi na naniniwala kay Jesus, hindi na nagtutulungan, hindi na nagbabahaginan, hindi na yan nagiging tupa at kawan ni Jesus. Kaya makikilala mo, ang kawan ni Jesus sapagkat sila ay nagtutulungan na huwag mawala ang pananalig nila sa Diyos at bagkus lalong lumakas ang kanilang paniniwala sa Diyos at kay Jesus na ating mabuting pastol. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, let us be part of that believing community, the flock of Jesus the early church in Antioch that was called Christians, they are part of a believing community. Mahalaga na ang pamayanan ay nagtutulungan huwag mawala ang tiwala at paniniwala kay Jesus, kundi nagtutulungan para lalong lumakas ang ating pananalig, ang ating pananampalataya, sa mabuting pastol. Be part of the believing community and help one another to restore, to regain and preserve the strength of our belief and faith in Jesus. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we especially commemorate the day when now St. John Paul II has declared the Manila Cathedral as a minor basilica. He declared it in April 27, 1981. So today is the 40th anniversary of the declaration of the Manila Cathedral as a minor basilica. This means that Pope John Paul II saw that this church is an important church and also that this community 
gathered in this cathedral always is a believing community. We are very happy that in this, even in this time of pandemic, the community of the Manila Cathedral grew. Kahit na mayroong pandemya, kami po ay natutuwa sapagkat lumaki lalo ang pamayanan ng Manila Cathedral because of our online streaming of the Mass. Lalong lumaki ang pamayanan ng Manila Cathedral. At siguro po, tuwang-tuwa po si Pope John Paul II ngayon sapagkat nung yung dineclare niya na minor basilica noong 1981, siguro tuwang-tuwa siya na ngayon ay napakalaki na ng ating believing community. Are you part of this believing community of the Manila Cathedral? We thank the Lord for the gift of Pope John Paul II giving us the dignity as a minor basilica, recognizing that this community, this cathedral community, is a believing community in Jesus. Let us celebrate this. Let us be grateful for this. And let us continue to become a believing community. Amen. God gives eternal life to the sheep of His flock. Let us pray to the Father, confident that we can never be taken away from His care. For every petition, let us say, Divine Shepherd, keep us among your flock. Divine Shepherd, keep us among your flock. That the Pope and the bishops may become true shepherds by leading their flock to good pastures. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Shepherd, keep us among your flock, that those who wandered away from the path of righteousness may be held back to the fold. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Shepherd, keep us among your flock, that the youth may hear the voice of Good Shepherd calling them to serve God's family in a special way. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Shepherd, keep us among your flock, that the sick may experience the tenderness of the Good Shepherd through the loving care of their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Shepherd, keep us among your flock, that Christ, the Good Shepherd, may lead the dead safely home. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Shepherd, keep us among your flock. Heavenly Father, hear our prayers. Bless each one of us in the way you know best. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life, is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, 
and Brother Rick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our, Our Father, Father, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us 
eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We would like to thank everyone for joining us in this celebration and as a believing community here in the Manila Cathedral, we would like to thank you and uh, pray for you and especially as we commemorate today the 40th anniversary of the declaration of the Manila Cathedral as a minor basilica by Pope John Paul II. We ask our Lord Jesus to grant you the graces that you ask for, the prayers that you ask for, especially as you join us in this community, in this believing community of the Minor Basilica of the Immaculate Conception of the Manila Cathedral. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Regina Celi, Letare, Alleluia. Quia quem le ruisi portare, Alleluia. Resurresi, sicur dixi, Alleluia. Ora 